What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and yesterday, Apple has released the developer and public beta of watchOS 10. If we were to take a look at our software update here, you could see I am up to date and I'm also in the beta program. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. If you want to skip to any part of the video, you can use the timestamps down below. Right, no more wasting time, let's get started. So the first things I like to check is the build number and the storage size. So if we go into about right here, you're gonna see that our build number is 21R5341C. We have a C at the end of the build number, which indicates Apple has compiled this build three times before releasing it. So if you were to take a look at our watchOS storage here, you could see that our storage is taking up quite a little bit and it's not much here, but at least we're not on the series three anymore. All Apple Watches come standard with 32 gigabytes. Now, what is new here inside of the sixth beta of watchOS 10? If we were to go to our Snoopy watch face, we have some additional ones. Like I think this pizza one is new. I've not seen this one. Apple has just added quite a bit to the Snoopy watch face. Yeah, this one is definitely new. I've never seen this one before. And yeah, there's a lot of new watch faces here. So I guess Apple and whoever makes Snoopy are working on some additional watch faces just to make this have a lot more variety than it already it does. Now personally, I don't use the Snoopy watch face, but if you do, it is nice that you guys got some additional watch face combination. The next thing is in our workout app. If we were to go to our workout app and then go to a exercise that has time right here, and then press the button right here and press this, you get to see that Apple has changed the color of the gradient in the background. So you can see right here that it is now gray, whereas before it is now yellow. And I think this looks much better than it did in the previous beta, since the yellow just kind of looked off, and I did not like it quite a bit. So the next thing is, if I were to play some music on my Apple Watch right here, you're going to see that you have more additional details right here, where it says now playing. However, I'm not playing a song right now. If I were, my phone will stop recording. But just letting you know that it will start scrolling, and the picture will get smaller depending on how much detail there is about the song. Now, unfortunately, there's no more additional stuff inside of this beta. Everything seems be exactly the same here. But what can we expect next from Apple? So if I were to go back into this view, what I would expect is next week on the week of the 21st, very likely on the 22nd, 23rd, or even the 21st right here, is when we're gonna get beta 7 of Watch OS 10. Now that is expected to be compiled one time and that's it because I think Apple really wants to make sure everything is silky smooth and everything like that. And still in August right here, I would expect another beta on the week of the the 29th, most likely on the 30th, and then we're done until the 13th series stop. On the 13th right here is when we're going to be seeing an Apple event, and this is when we're going to see the RC. We might see an RC too, but at this point, I really don't think so. And then the final release should come out on the 19th right here, if I went to bet my money. Now, watchOS 10 is incredibly smooth. Battery life is very good and everything. However, I would still hold off from updating on your main Apple Watch. The only reason is because you can't go back unless you buy third-party stuff that isn't associated with Apple or just send your Apple Watch into Apple and even that a series 7 or 8 will not be able to be restored back properly. Now that is all I have to say about the the 6 beta of watchOS 10. If you thought this video was useful please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you'd like to see all the changes in the 6 beta of iOS 17 you could check out that video up there. And anyways thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video. Bye!